So I went down to McCormick Place and just I'm curious because if you're going to set up a 3,000 bed hospital at McCormick Place, then well, you'd have to have trucks, logistics. You figure it's going to be like ET, right? You know, like a lot of people, you know, just organization. They said it's going to be done by like middle, middle of April. I did run into two guys, um, apparently union workers in the bottom there. And like, yeah, go up front. I took the wrong exit, whatever. And um, I went around front and I drove all around McCormick Place and I didn't see not one thing. I saw one uh, uh, security guard that was empty and I saw one cop. You know where all the beds are. And um, I see a security guard right here. And it doesn't remind me of E.T. or anything. And he's a security guard, not even in his car. So I'm looking for the beds. And there's a little light up here. Replace, and I didn't see not one thing. I saw one uh, uh, security guard that was empty, and I saw one cop. N no, maybe because it's Sunday. Maybe they'll, they're starting tomorrow. Still at McCormick Place, and I'm still looking for, well, some sort of uh, presence of military or I saw some care. Corona Care. You know, this place looks like it's closed. It looks like it's a Sunday. I did see some kids walking down the street, and I did see a dog, you know, in the park. Um, somebody walking their dog down here. So we'll see. Keep we're keep going. I saw that Hyatt was empty. Jay Pritzker's place. I guess that hotel is not on the list of places to put people. This is the corner place. I don't see anybody like giving directions. I'm thinking, wow, okay. Um, didn't look like they were preparing anything. Or and there was like a story like this. You figure would be, you know, a big newsworthy event. Um, you know, so there might be a news truck down there. I didn't see any of them. And here, this is McCormick Place. I'm oh, looking for people. It's a red light. I don't want to go through a red light. Although it might not make a difference. So let's take a look down here. So this is the heart of McCormick Place. Right here. One cop is hanging out. I don't know what he's doing. So this is the, uh, you know, where you come to go to, I guess, this is where they're building the hospital. This will be done, uh, hopefully by the end of the month, to bring in all the patients. I see they're working busy on it. So again, there's the, there's the place, the security guard, that nobody's there. There's the lady with the dog, just hanging out, playing. And uh, what's this guy doing? Worker. <clears throat> the more McCormick Place. I did see two workers down there. They said that they were building beds. There's a person with their dog going by McCormick Place. So I'm looking here. You figured it'd be like E.T. You know, there'd be, you know, tents set up and like, you know, people in hazmat suits walking around. Maybe, you know, times. So I mean, I get it. So then I went by the... Uh, Northwestern Hospital, because if you were sick, you'd go to one of these hospitals, right? If you had a kid, you'd go to Laurie's Joe. So I have some video of that. Okay, so here's the emergency room at Northwestern. Where are the people? Where are the cops? This entrance isn't open. Okay. This is where you might come if you thought you couldn't breathe or you were sick. All right. Some people over here waiting. What do you think this is over here? All right, what is this here? These are people that are in line for, I don't know, social distancing? Maybe, I think they might work at the hospital. All right. And then over here, nothing, no cops, nothing. 
And then the other one was, I don't want to hear any ambulances at night. Because right? if all these people are dropping, or you're calling an ambulance. You're, you're calling. Okay, this is where the front of the children's hospital is. This is where you might, you know, if you were sick, I guess. Um, children's hospital, if you had a child, you'd come up here, you know. Let's see. Do not enter. A couple people. No. Nothing really striking as emergency. This looks like a Sunday. Women's hospital. I know there was a couple robberies down here the other day, so that didn't stop the criminals from coming out right down here. I guess this person's breaking the law by running over there. So maybe they could get her. Now I know this place over here, this is also an intake place, I think. Emergency room, let's go by here. Okay, so children's emergency. Huh, no ambulances. Well, there's one ambulance, but that's a firehouse right there. So I, I figured it would be an ambulance in front of there. It looks like they're just I don't know, doing a little bit of maintenance on it. But anyway, this is, if you had a kid that was sick, you would probably bring them here. I mean, or at least something. You know, if they couldn't breathe or, you know, I'm not saying that that's not, this isn't happening. I'm just saying, I'm just showing you what's going on here. And then this is our paramedic department here. The ambulance is really just like kind of hanging out. Okay, Michigan Avenue. <clears throat> Dead. Business is all closed. I'd love to get a pizza. I'm like, I can't breathe. You know, I need an ambulance. So we're not seeing any of that. Um, I talked to a friend of mine who has a mortuary in um, Pennsylvania, a lot of them. He says he's only intake one coronavirus person. There's no special... Um, procedures for him. He just says you put cotton in their mouth and their nose. It's like regular dead people with alcohol and gruesome stuff. That's why I'm not a mortuary person. But I don't I don't see it anywhere. So anyway, this is some video and I figured, well, why not go out and take a look and see what's going on where the hubba baloo is, you know, but you judge for yourself. You tell me.